All right, hey, this is Lucky TJ at uh, Living Metaphysically, Discover the I Am Within, etc. I have a couple of websites, um, well, a couple of YouTube channels, but I'm making this one because I just want to, I'm sitting at the Best Buy, um, I'm sitting at the Best Buy, parking in the parking lot because I'm just leaving and came here to take some prices on some USB-C uh, cables. And, um, you know, I went before this, uh, so, you know, I, I'm going to maybe brand myself as the plaid millionaire. Like, I know a lot of people in our society love to see people who have lots of luxury items. They have to have luxury, luxury hair, luxury makeup, luxury clothes, luxury cars, luxury houses, blah, blah, blah. I do like uh, a certain amount of luxury things. Um, this pickup truck that I'm driving is not really luxury. The reason why is because they don't really make this size pickup um, in the U.S. Why am I bothering to say that? Because you might look at me and say, hey, you know, she's not a millionaire. Hey, guess what? You Have you ever heard of the millionaire next door or people who have a lot of money, but you don't see that they have it in their possessions? So um, anyway, cut back to the reason why I'm even making this video right now it has to do with because I just went over to um, the VEIP um, I was looking for a kiosk so I could get an instant, um, instant tag renewal. And what's really interesting about it is that the guy who was working there, which is something that I just, I'm, I'm sharing this because let me tell you my mindset. So the guy who's working there, I pretty much know that contractual employees working at these jobs they're probably not making more than, I, I don't know how much they're making, but I would assume, based on what my knowledge is of jobs in the world, that they probably make probably even less than $20 an hour, which would be 40000 a year. And why is that important to me? Well, because I already know that a wealth mindset can take a person from having a certain amount of money where they are worried about their money, money ability to spend, etc., to having the freedom that they see other people have to buy what they want, buy gifts for themselves and their family, take care of their family, send their family to the finest schools, travel whenever they want, to do what they see other people who are in front of their faces doing either on TV, media, internet, etc. So, um, so that's one of the reasons why I love work doing my online businesses. Um, I love anything that's going to take me into the, uh, the future that I want into the, you know, to having the present that I want as far as my income, as to having the time freedom, as to having, um, my ultimate goal of um, my podcasts and workshops where I help people to identify what's in the way of them having what they want. You know, um, so the guy I was talking to, I thought about him afterwards and he wouldn't give me his, so I, so I have a bad habit. This is what people say, don't do in network marketing. Don't do if you have a business you're trying to share. And I keep asking myself, well, why do I go against this recommendation? It was because I just want to see people and take a chance. If I see a person who I think may have, or have who maybe is not making the amount of money that they they really secretly would love to make, when I see them in like an ordinary average job, I always want to present my business opportunity to them because I want to see I want to see people succeed. I want to see people succeed in life in a way in which they never ever thought was or dreamed possible. And you know, so when I see a person if they are particularly if they're black like I am, particularly if they're in a job that I've been in before, particularly Whatever, and it's not limited to only those people. It's just that all the people that I see online, not all, many people that I see that are in the positions that I that I 
am becoming as I am building my businesses, but people who've already been successful, they are typically representing a certain group that already, and I want to see more of other groups. I want to see more minorities. I just want to see more women, more black, more, um, uh, if you're physically challenged, whatever is the minority group, I would like to see more representation financially of these groups in these businesses that I see that that I see people who are leaders, who are network marketers, who are, you know, so who are um, building businesses online, who are having success in any kind of way. So really where I'm coming from is that equality all over the place would be really great. And I'm not seeing that. So of course, I'm always going to, um, you know, ask people if they're interested. And the guy, it was interesting because one of the things that I have learned in network marketing and um, business is that you really have to qualify people. And so when I talk to people who are obviously not qualified or who, you know, I always think there may be that one, per that tiny percentage of that percentage of them that is somewhat qualified, you know, because inside of us is all kinds of po possibilities. You know, how I'm never going to be able to, um, you know, say whether a person is totally unqualified, but the people who are likely to do an online business usually have certain traits. And so when this guy wouldn't give me his number, he took my card. He said he was interested. I did ask him questions. He seemed as though he kind of was re 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 hesitant to talk. He didn't want to give me his number or his email. And later when I drove off, I thought, well, how could a person possibly have a business if they won't communicate with another person? And they also are reluctant to give out their information, unless it's that he would have a business later on and then set up special a special email account and a special set of you know phone numbers so that when you give out, you're not getting spammed. And I get that part. So it's not like I'm just stupid and not realizing. But it seemed as though, I like it sort of occurred to me that a person who has very little interest, um, I wonder how could they be all, how, it's almost like I felt like kind of arrogant, I guess, because I was like walking in, I was like, I should have just gotten my card back and said, look, dude, you know, I, I, you know, give me my card back because I really could see that probably he won't use it. Maybe he will and he'll surprise me. If he does, I will make a video about that because he could be a superstar and I just don't know it. Um, but, but you know, how could you possibly be successful in any kind of online business and you don't want to give out your phone number? You don't want to give out your email. You won't read emails. You won't um, communicate via, via the, um, the Facebook groups that we're in. You know, you don't, you know, you, in order to be successful with us, you you have to be like in a frame of mind that you you can be you're you're teachable, coachable, can make time, have a certain kind of commitment that you um that you're willing to um do the things that make people be successful. You got to follow the lead of people who have made seven figures and duplicate what they do. And it may mean that you have to break out of your old poverty mindset in order to even do that. So if you aren't out, if you're online and you keep thinking, oh, you know, because I asked him this, I said, have you ever seen people online who are making, who were successful and wondered how they did it? You know, and he said, well, yeah. And I said, well, what other questions did you even think? He said, well, I was wondering like, you know, how long it took. So these are great questions. So our, the, the, the great news about working with me and working with our team is that we have a system we, that's, that where you can plug yourself in, plug your prospects in, and, we, and you can learn step, you can learn very easily step well, I, I think it's very easy to learn step by step what to do because the information is being fed constantly. Every single day, there's information. In fact, there's information on top of information. It's almost overwhelming. Um, but you kind of have to understand that 
in order to be successful, you have to keep going. You have to plug in. You have to you have to get your mindset together. You have to get your commitment together. You have to get, um, you know, what you're willing to trade your time for. So if you're busy, so what I found for myself is that you know I take my time training myself. I you know I I constantly train myself on you know with with people who are successful that I admire. Um, so if if you want to be successful then you may have to change um and when i say successful i mean i mean that if you're changing like you could be possibly changing from one success to another perhaps you have uh you know you could a person could be successful in one one um let's say in one career but then decide well look this isn't really setting me up for the passive income that I truly want because it doesn't give me the time freedom. You could be a doctor, a dentist, you could be an attorney, realtor, you could be anything and be really successful. But when you have certain types of jobs, jobs, then you may not be set up that you have passive income. So passive income is something that, um, and residual income is something I've been interested in ever since I was a kid because I'm I'm a songwriter. And I always knew that if I sold a certain amount of songs to artists that made um, um, recordings and those recordings were successful, I would make residual income for the rest of my life once they were played, when they were played on the air, or on um, you know, on the radio or, on, or wherever they're going to be played if they were used on the TV show. So the idea of residual income is not something that I just, you know, learned as an adult, as an adult, I always knew that this was something I wanted to set myself up for. So I don't want to go on and on, but I just wanted to make a video real quick just to say, you are being invited, if you are watching this video, to come and be on my team so I can work with you directly. I work with the people who are in our team directly, and you can work with them as well. And you can get the support from me. And, and maybe maybe we need to be more clear about, like, what is support? Support is, hey, I don't, is the answer to, hey, I don't know what to do next. How do I, how do I do anything next? Anything that has to do with the business. Like, um, well, anything in general. Like, because when it, when it comes down to, you know, how do I pay Am I paying in Bitcoin? How do I buy Bitcoin? How do I set up a BitPay card? How do how do I even um, you know some people don't even know how to use the internet in different browsers you know to do different things that easily. I'm really great great at answering questions, finding out inf finding out the answers to questions. I have a IT background, and uh, you know. I have I have a wealth of information and help that I can give to my team members. So that's what we usually my team members when I talk to them. Um, as you know, I just I support people um, motivationally, like you know how to be motivated, how to stay in a positive mindset, uh, and as well well as the technical stuff. You know, I've helped people with the technical stuff. So, you know, support is having a way to be able to get my questions and problems solved and answered. And that's, that's important, you know, because if not, if you're trying to do something, especially, especially an online business and they, and the people and you sign up and then nobody teaches you how to build a team, if that's the way, the primary way that, um, is going to help you to add to um, the business opportunity because every business has multiple may ha well many businesses online may have multiple ways of getting the income. So in Unify, which is a business that I'm in, uh, one of them actually, um, because I was in businesses before I got into Unify. But my primary um, business right now that I'm working with working on to build to the to the full potential that I can make in in and using this one as a real as the vehicle because it's a very great vehicle. Um it has 
two major components of how you can make money. Well, well, okay. And one is with trading crypto and the other is the affiliate program. So the, so, you know, both are very good. And for me, I love of the affiliate aspect. I like the trading part too. I love, I love crypto. That's, that's one thing I love. Um, why I got into uh, Unified to begin with is, be, you know, via learning how to trade. Um, but my real thing is also team building because I, I, I like that aspect. And I like to see other people have a way to make passive income and really fulfill something missing in their lives when it comes down to money. I have too many people around me, family members, who have beat up pieces. And so not, I'm talking about like, my truck is an old truck. I bought it on purpose because it's a small, small size pickup that I want to use for my bike. So it's an old beat up piece of thing. I have a car, of course, that's a more modern. Um, So, but what I'm saying is I have family members and friends who can't afford to have a decent car, who can't afford to go to um, on a vacation, who can't afford really to be sick because they lose money because they don't have have the kind of job or income producing um, stream that a lot, that gives them benefits. I mean, there's there's more and more and more about people that I know who are in a who are or, who are basically poor or in poverty or in a, in a, or get just getting by, you know, where they're, you know, they have to rob Peter to pay Paul. They can't pay this bill this month. So it piles up. Then it's double plus fees. And Unify, by the way, also helps people to learn how to, to um, manage their money and how to um, keep, keep your money and grow your money, compound your money. So there's so much good about financial education. Um, Anyway, I, I just wanted to make this video because I was feeling, to be honest, I was feeling just a little frustrated because I want to see people succeed. I want to see people, I just want to see people, you know, have the best life that they could have. And I know that the way to having it is out here. And I I'm very confident that a person can plug into our team and have something they never had before, which is the amazing support. The, um, you know, people who are, you know, you, yes, you, you have to put some money out to begin with. So you can't start any business typically without any money. So if you see ads that say that, forget those. Well, try them out. And then when you're done, come back. Yes, you do need to buy your subscription. Yes, you, yes, you need to pay your affiliate fees. Yes, you need to, the best thing is to get your, um, become an elite member and get a, a, the, the elite funnel. And But once you do that, you can actually calculate that on, take out your phone, take a calculator, and you can see those, how much that costs. It's not a whole lot. Um, you can, it's a manageable, low entry point business. And then the other part I love about Unify is that they tell you how they split the money up. Like, because you have to, you have to understand, this is where people made a mistake last year, where you could not really, uh, they weren't, many businesses people were in weren't very transparent. So you already knew, like, where were they getting the money from to be able to pay you? You already had to try to figure this out, like, okay, exactly how is that going to happen? So when, when Unify breaks it down and says, okay, this is where this money comes from. This is where this this other money comes from. This is how the money is there to to pay people. And what you can do is when you get your affiliate money, you can use that money, your commissions. When you get your your affiliate commissions, you can use those to buy Bitcoin and altcoins, and you can trade those well Bitcoin with the signals. So how you can create wealth is uh, out here for you to be able to take in and um, have. One of the reasons why I'm also making this video, making these videos is because 
to be really honest, I made a whole lot of mistakes last year. So have many other people um, that I know of on my team and not in my team, in other groups and other businesses. A lot of people, and you could make, you could say mistakes, or you could say these were um, learning opportunities. So, um, as far as having seen the 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 most of everything that's been out there, even the biggest names out here, I usually see their the opportunity way before. I won't say way, but a month, weeks before they post and say. Hey, I'm, you know, I'm now in this opportunity. I'm like, she, I signed up for that, you know, or I found out about it. So I'm not sure like why I'm blessed with so much information and knowledge, intelligence. But one of the ways I use it is to really check things out and resource. So I've done a lot of the, the work for you. Not to say that I don't want every single person to go and re do the do your own due diligence do your own research that's not what i'm trying to say but i've made but i've seen so many opportunities out here that i already can tell like okay well this no this is not great this is not great this is not great and this may be great but they don't give you the support they don't teach you how to build your team they don't give you a funnel they don't give you emails they don't give you um the facebook group they don't do the lives like it's some kind of way that they figure they they are saying okay well join our organization but they don't give you the tools that you can use for you to be able to be successful it's like you're stuck out there either that you already know because you have been in network marketing before and you have this big list either you already know how to do that but if you're and if that's the case great but if you don't have that which i'm one of those people who didn't then you need to figure out how to do it. And running running ads, etc. Everyone uses all the social media. Um, you have to understand like exactly how how to, to get attention, how to be able to get your leads. You know, you you're gonna, you know, it's just like a whole way of being able to create a successful online business that now you have privy to because you can sign up with me and you can use my experience and leverage with our upline. And that's all I'm going to say. So my motto is question everything, question what I'm saying, question other things, but question yourself so you can see what's in the way of you having what you say you want. With that, I will sign off. Peace.